Hello, N4H and H here with the ASU FT710. So I want to do a little bit of soda chasing. Uh, well, this is Soda Weekend in Georgia, North Georgia. There's been a big camp out uh, started Thursday, and this is Sunday afternoon. So, and I've been out um, of town. So I want to get back to some soda chasing here, but I've not operated any CW with this rig yet. So I want to do some initial setup. I'm using the band stacking. I haven't programmed any memories in yet. Uh, this has triple band stacking per band per VFO, so I thought I would take care of that. And so I just jumped over here to 20 meters, and it's going to default here at 14.000 uh, USB. So I'm going to change mode to CWU. Oh, the quiet world of CW. And, uh, well, I haven't even really done any filtering yet. Uh, let me turn RF gain all the way up. You'll see the S meter go all the way back to zero. And let's see, width. So with this ring, you press this knob here, move it over to width, and right now it's on the default of 500. Taking it down to 50. Uh, I'll, I'll do 100. 100 to 150 is better if you're still trying to zero in on somebody. And then this radio has Zen, Z-I-N up here, the zero in, which can automatically lock onto their exact frequency because not everyone is always dead on it, you know, like zero beat. So, um, let's see what we've got a spot for 14063. He's in Georgia, so he, if I hear him, he's going to be ground wave. Okay, and also, too, the default pitch on this radio is 700 hertz, and I prefer 600. And let's see. Let's see what the speed is. 20, I like that. Okay, and the break-in delay, I'm going to bump that up to, I'll try 400. All right, and keyer must be on, break-in must be on, power's at 100 watts. Okay, and I like to, for, for CW operation, I'm gonna leave it on CW speed that, right here, the function knob, so if I reach up and turn the function knob, I'm doing speed. All right, um, see if I hear any of the station. Now, also, look at the level in the scope. Let's fix that. Going to level. Now on the FTDX10, you have the outer ring you can assign to do that, but uh, this radio, I guess they called it improving the ergonomics, but there's a whole lot more that you have to go into a menu for. So see, I had to reassign my level or my function knob to level instead of CW speed. With the FTDX10, you've got the outer ring and I keep mine assigned to level. Think of level as scope sensitivity. Now, for those of you who prefer a waterfall, there's a waterfall. Well, I'm not hearing my buddy there. Let me uh, let me see about this one here. Zen stands for zero in, and it's right here, second button on the top. If you hold it down, you get a spot tone. These are on these on twenty meters are ground wave. Go ahead and take it down to fifty hertz. 
Still getting some filter ripple. Now, you might be thinking, well, how do you get filter ripple? This is an SDR. There's not a physical, like a roofing filter. Well, it's done digitally. And I'm gonna try my notch trick. 80 hertz behind, below the side tone. May be able to get away with uh, I'll try 540. The FTDX 10 was tight enough that I could I could get really close to my side tone and not knock it out. Like a 570 would even work. See the ionosan pulses going across, checking propagation. Here's some 12 meter action. May be able to get him on. These are all in North Georgia, so they're ground wave most likely to me, and unless they're maybe on 40. Uh, but here's one on 12 meters. Let's see. Let me try that. Twenty-four nine zero eight nine. Let's see if I've got a band stack. Let's see. Band function. Band function. I guess I don't have any in there. So, all right, VFOA, CWU. Nine zero eight dot nine. There it is. All right, let's get some filtering. See, there, you're notching out your side tone. You don't want to do that. Try that. Well, there's just a frenzy of activity out there. Oh, there's my buddy Pat. He's on the same summit. Let's try that. 17 meters. So, you know, with band stacking, you only have to do these setups once per once in a band stack. And then when you return back, it remembers everything. Now he's on 180869. When he sends again, I'll use the ZIN, zero in. Let me lower this. I don't like to see the noise, just the signal spikes. Now I haven't done any of the setup that I do in the menu yet. Um, I may cover that in another video. This is just, you know, getting it out of the box, getting it on CW real quick. But I do go through the menus and do some tailoring. And I will be creating a document for this radio, just like I did for the FTDX10, the FT891, the 991A, and the, and the FTDX5000MP that goes through all of the menu changes I make. 
uh, and then an explanation of the various knobs and buttons and things like that. I've got those out already for those other rigs, but I haven't made one for the 710, obviously, yet. Um, but I'll have that available for executive and VIP Patreon members to download as a PDF. Hmm. These are all so close in. And for high frequencies, getting them ground wave may not. Not in the afternoon here. Um, 210629. Let's try, let's try that one. Up again. Let's get it set up. Go ahead and get my notch set. Twenty one oh six two nine. So basically, uh, and I can use this to go in five K increments. There, I wasn't on a 15 meter antenna. Let's get this level adjusted. Pretty good, pretty good filtering because I've got it at 100 hertz. And look what it's blocking out. So I'll see if I can work this one, this ground wave, and I'm using my vertical, my Cushcraft R5, my good old standby. It's been with me for a long, long time. So see if I can get this one. Uh, Got to get in here and set this up. Break in on Keir. Oh, Keir was on. Okay, there we go. Wow, sorry, that one's loud. Don't know if he got me or not. Somebody else came in. I'm just typing in my log up here. I'll widen it out a little bit. There. Got to make it blink. Got to tap, select what you want to change, tap again so it blinks, then you can set it. Thank you. 
Okay, you guys hearing that clicking sound? Um, that's not cool. That's, uh, that's strange. Um, and it is something that I've heard about, and I don't guess Yesu has said anything about it yet. Uh, surely they're going to address that in a firmware update. Um, because, well, now granted, maybe there's some adjustment I can go in there and do, but I've already read a couple of other reports that, uh, it, and it's, uh, apparently worse on other bands so yeah you know okay my opinion right now this radio is not quite ready for prime time it's going to need a firmware up to date update to clear up some of the little idiosyncrasies it's got here fresh out of the gate um, but hey i did make the contact and um, got that one logged my first cw contact with the rig but yeah, you could probably hear all that clicking going on at the end of each and that wasn't the relay doing that that was coming out of the speaker but anyway, okay, so initial CW contact with the rig. Maybe I'll uh, do some adjustments, shoot another video um, where I get into the menu system and how I set it up. And uh, hopefully in time we'll find out what the deal is with that clicking sound it's making there uh, um, at the end of each dit and da that you send. Hey, thanks uh, for watching. Thank you to the Patreon support team who literally make these videos possible. Without them, I would not be able to justify the time and expense to produce these videos. So if you like this type of content, consider becoming a part of that Patreon support team. It helps me avoid having advertisers, paid advertisers would not like some of the things I have to say because I try to shoot straight with you guys. And I do shoot straight with you guys. So if you want to join that team and help the channel out, go to www.patreon.com. That's forward slash N4HNH at the end. That's www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH. If you would, give the video a like. Cost you nothing. Helps us out with YouTube. Consider subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe, be sure to click that notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload the next video. And uh, if, you, if you're interested in this series, you won't want to miss a video. Of course, I've got series on the FTDX10. It's up over 80 videos now. And if you have an FTDX10, you might want to take advantage of that. I've got um, playlists um, for other subjects, other radios. So look through the playlists uh, section there. Um, and um, there's even a playlist for some that's on the air. If you're into soda or thinking about, you know, hiking mountains and operating your radio with a makeshift antenna and emergency power. Uh, so, and uh, finally, if you would, consider sharing this video on social media. Share their link to it uh, on social media, text message, email, or phone a friend. Hey, thanks for watching in 73 from N4 H&H. &H.